So, this is an ophthalmoscope, and in preparation for ophthalmoscopy, you press this green button and turn this round to turn it on. To turn it off, you would simply turn this back round again and the green button flicks into place. So press the green button and turn it round to turn it on. There are variations in ophthalmoscopes and although you may have to turn something here, it's not always exactly the same technique. Once you turn it on, you may be able to see a number here. This green number that you can see is the focusing distance or focusing ability of the ophthalmoscope. And the positive numbers are usually green or black, like this one. And it goes down with this dial up here to negative numbers which are red. Negative numbers are usually red and you can remember this as negative and minus are red and bad. So, when you're doing ophthalmoscopy, you need to focus down from the number 10 towards the number 0 and then further until the retina is very clearly and precisely in view. You do ophthalmoscopy without your glasses on and these numbers allow for you to take your glasses off and focus for anyone of any prescription to focus. The number plus 10 is a prescription of plus 10 and would be for a long-sighted person of plus 10 and a negative 10 would be for short-sighted people. As you do the ophthalmoscopy, as I said, you focus down through the numbers and you can imagine that you would come to focus on the retina about your prescription of the, of the numbers. So if you were long-sighted and your prescription was plus 3, you may imagine that you focus on the retina at the green or black number 3. And if you are short-sighted at minus 7, likewise you might focus around minus 7. However, this is just a rule of thumb and should not be taken uh, strictly and the main thing is to make sure that the retina is clearly in focus. So, once you've turned the ophthalmoscope on and the number is plus 10, you can look at the other side briefly. There's a turning dial here that changes the size of the light and the colour, gives you a green light and also in some ophthalmoscopes, there's another thing that changes the colour of the light up here. So, as I said, the dial on the back of the ophthalmoscope changes the light size and also colour. Just to demonstrate, this is a small light, and as you turn the dial, you get a bigger light, turn it again, a bigger light. And also, now we get onto the other lights, you can get one with a crosshair so you can identify and measure any abnormalities. You get a line and a green light. But of course, as I said, use the biggest light you can, which would be this one, unless the patient is particularly uncomfortable with it or has particularly small pupils, in which case you would try and use a smaller one. But always use the biggest one you can.